Today is a good day. We are facing the top three house brands off head to head with their best reciprocating saws. First up, we have the Cobalt XTR reciprocating saw. That's the best that Cobalt makes, sold at Lowe's. Next, we have the brand new brushless Hercules 20 volt reciprocating saw, and this is from Harbor Freight. And last but not least, we have the brand new Ryobi HP 18 volt sold at Home Depot. Now, with these three brands, they've all been elevated to higher and higher levels as the years go on, as all the technology has been developed. And I figured it was high time that we face these off and we put them through not only just typical speed and power tests, but we really put them through torture tests as well. So tonight, you may see some of these tools go up in smoke. So first off, we have the Cobalt 24 volt XTR this is a beast of a saw. Now it weighs just about eight pounds to eight and a half pounds depending on what battery you have on the back here. Uh, some of the great things about this is that it does 3100 strokes per minute. The stroke length itself is an inch and a quarter which is great. It features orbiting and non-orbiting uh, cutting modes which that's a more of aggressive cut for orbiting and then a regular cut uh, typical so it does have that mode um, it does have a lot of rubber over molding um, all over here um, and whenever you want to switch the blade out you actually have to go to the shaft and you switch it on the shaft itself. Um, it does have an adjustable fence on the front you can see that uh, articulates up and down and then there's a button right on the side here that you can slide it in and out. And that's really nice to have depending on your situation. Next up we have the Hercules this is the 20 volt brushless reciprocating saw. Now for this right here this is brand new and I'm really glad to see that Harbor Freight has been elevating this tool and they finally came out with a brushless tool. And this says 3,000 strokes per minute and the stroke itself is an inch and an eighth. Now this weighs just about the same as this a little bit lighter. This is going to be right around the 7.8 to 8 pound mark. Uh, now some of the good things about it is it actually has a rafter hook on the back of it here and you can see it articulates really nicely so you can hang it. Um, it does have a surface mounted blade change so there is a lever, lever there for that that's really convenient. Um, and then on the bottom, it's hidden, is a button that you can adjust the fence up and down which is super nice and has an articulating uh, fence on here as well so that's really nice. This does not have uh, orbital mode though so um, that's all right. You know, they'll probably get that in some of the uh, newer versions when they come out, giving themselves some room to grow, I guess. Now, moving on to the Ryobi. Now, this features uh, 3,200 strokes per minute. The stroke length itself is an inch and a quarter. Um, it has an adjustable face on it here, so that articulates, but in order to move this fence in and out, you actually have to have an Allen key, which is located here. So that's, eh, we'll knock them on that. Um, it does have on the face, this is your blade change lever, so it is just a pull up for a quick blade change which is really nice. This does not have a rafter hook and it does not have the orbiting mode on this, so I guess they're leaving themselves room to grow in the new brand as well. Now for the batteries we're going to be using for the 24 volt, this is a 4.0 uh, AH battery. Now what we have to pay attention to is the wattage on these batteries, so I'm just going to turn them sideways here so I can make sure I'm giving you the most accurate information. So the wattage on this right here is, is 96 watt hours. Now this is a 20 volt battery which is and it is a 5 amp hour battery and this is putting out 100 watt hours and this is an 18 volt battery and it's a 6 amp hour battery and this is putting out 108 watt hours. So they're just a few watt hours from each other. Now if I used a 18 volt with a 4 amp hour battery then I would only have been getting 72 watt hours. So there's a huge disparity between these. So I opted to use the 6 amp hour because it's only 8 when it comes to uh, this and then it's around 12 when it comes to the cobalt. I'm trying to be as fair and as honest with these as possible. So with that being said, let's talk about the test really quick. Okay, so as you can see right now, I have a few pieces of wood sitting right beside me. First off, we have a hardwood. This is a two by six right here. We're gonna see how fast we can cut through that. Second, we have three two by sixes and these are nail embedded. 
They have two 16D common uh, penny nails that are sitting in there. We're going to cut through all of those. And then we have a 4x6 pressure treated piece of wood right here. We're going to have to make cuts through all of those. And I said this was going to be a torture test and I really meant that this was going to be a torture test. We have a 5 and a quarter inch freshly cut log right here. And this is, I don't know, four and a half feet, five and a quarter inches thick. And for a reciprocating saw, the hardest thing that you can do is prune with it. So we're going to cut through that. Now we're not just going to be using user input so you guys can say that I cheated on each one of them. We're going to be hanging a 10 pound weight from all of these. And all I'll be doing is just pulling the trigger. So you'll be watching that. I'm not going to be doing anything weird. I'll just be pulling the trigger. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor and I don't damage anything. Uh, so we'll be doing that for all of these, but that's not it. Wait, there's more. I'm going to be adding five pounds. I'm going to put 15 pounds and I'm going to try and saw through this log. So what are we waiting around on? Let's get into the tests. Before we get started, I do have to talk about the orbiting. I will be making two cuts with this, with this saw right here. Now, I'm going to do one regular and then one orbiting. We'll be using the 9 inch nail embedded DeWalt blades for this. 6 TPI, brand new blades for all of them. For this one, we're going to be using a 12-inch Diablo pruning blade. This has the carbide teeth on it. This has been well used, but it is still very, very sharp. So, let's get into the test and let's see how we can torture test these and hopefully they all make it through it. So I can't be the only one surprised at the results. Can you believe that the Hercules beat out the Ryobi? And can you believe just how powerful and crazy performance that the Cobalt did over everything? Now talking about between these two, Ryobi has a big legacy of some pretty good performance, especially for a house brand, and it did not edge out the new brushless Hercules. So that is a testament that engineering that they're putting into this is it's awesome so but I, I am I'm blown away because the regular uh, sawing mode and then the orbital sawing mode on this they were pretty much neck and neck I thought the orbital was going to just knock everything out of the park but it didn't the power that this is putting out is absolutely incredible and I didn't feel that much vibration it was very easy to use <clears throat> Now, I did feel some vibration, but it, it wasn't too bad for the Ryobi, and it performed okay. I think it did admirable, but this Hercules edged it out on every single test. 
The one bad thing about the Hercules is the vibrations were unreal. Holy moly. My arms are still tingling from it. So, was this what you were expecting? Please let me know down in the comments. I think this was an awesome test. One thing that I have to say, and you're going to see it here, the nail embedded wood just kept falling out, or it just kept ripping in half. Uh, so, I, I had to abandon this test. Unfortunately, this is reality. Sometimes things just don't work out. These were just proving to be too much friction, too much vibration, and it just wasn't working. Uh, you know, for this one, you can see it, it cut it cut the nail no problem. So I don't think any of them would have had really any big issues. But hey, life is life. You still got to see some really good tests uh, for this tree right here. This five and a quarter inch tree that was a tough one. It didn't look so tough with the cobalt, but for these two, it was tough. You saw some smoke. You saw them really kicking it up trying to uh, you know cut it in half and they all successfully did it especially even with 15 pounds I didn't think I thought we may have saw the uh, Hercules kind of give out or maybe stop but no power soldier through so did the Ryobi and well I don't have to say anything about this this annihilated the test so I hope that everybody liked this video if you did please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video take care everybody